Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope all is well. Uh, got a little bit different video for you guys this week. It is probably going to be a multi-part. Uh, this first video is just a very, very light interior detail. Uh, the, the truck was pretty clean. It was just a little dusty. Didn't even need really any aggressive cleaning. So I think we're going to split it up so we don't have like a 30 minute video. This first video is just a light interior detail. Uh, the truck we're working on is Sean from Peach Bottom Auto Body. If you guys follow the Enthusiast brand or Dirty Max Jack, you would have seen Sean. That's where Jack takes a lot of his stuff to get body work, paint work, color matching. Uh, then guys do it all down there and they're really good paint guys. Uh, so if you haven't followed Dirty Max Jack, make sure to go over and follow his his channel. He's doing a really, really nice truck giveaway currently. Uh, and I'm definitely going to enter to win this. I entered to win. That's how I got this hat on the last one. Um, but anyway, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below if you like kind of like this format. Uh, I will have more videos coming out hopefully this week of the same truck. Uh, so we're probably going to split it up because, yeah, 30, 30 minutes is too long to watch. Hopefully split it up in like six to eight minutes. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing and get this video started. I hope you guys enjoy. So yeah, typically before I start any detail, I like to remove all the contents from the inside of the vehicle, all the personal belongings. Try to keep everything organized, put it in boxes, baggies, whatever you have to do. Uh, pull out any jacks, floor mats, little inserts, cup holders. Uh, if there's change, I'll sometimes throw it in a Ziploc bag. With this truck here, it did have some power cables from the amp. Don't know if they're hot or not, but I don't really want to find out. I removed the jack from the vehicle. A lot of times we'll pull them out, uh, play with some toys. And then that's all the stuff we pulled out of this truck. And finally, after pulling everything out, we're ready to vacuum. like to use a headlight so I can see in all the cracks and crevices. Uh, just use a typical shop vac. Uh, works really well. I do like to use the smaller nozzle. Uh, as you can see here, I am using a boar's hair brush to lightly clean some of the dust off. So, so that way, when I go to wipe it down a little bit later, it's a little easier. Uh, but I, on the vacuum part for like uh, doing carpet and upholstery, I do like to use the smaller tip. Yes, it takes a little bit longer, uh, but you get a lot more like concentrated suction on the vacuum. Like I tell the guys in the shop is just to make sure to concentrate in one particular area. Once you get that area good, whether it's the seats or the carpet, uh, then move on to the next area. But the first initial vacuum is pretty crucial. Since this interior is only getting a light dusting and a vacuum, the main product I'm going to use is this 303 Aerospace Protectant. I really like it because it's not greasy. It doesn't leave a bunch of grease left behind. Uh, it doesn't collect a lot of dust, so when the customer picks up, a few weeks from now their dashboard's not going to be collecting a bunch of dust and it dries to a nice satin finish that's probably the biggest thing using a little brush to get in some of the cracks and crevices uh, and then for some of the vents I'll actually use my pro little plastic pry tool works really good for getting in the vents I use actually use it a lot I don't use it to pry too much but vents in little tight areas uh, where my fingers can't fit into it works really really well Generally, I'd recommend putting all the windows down before you detail the interior. One thing, it lets a little bit more light in. The biggest thing, though, is you don't get any cleaners or vinyl shines on the glass, uh, making the glass easier to clean later on. Unfortunately, I didn't have any window switches in the front doors, uh, so I just didn't bother putting any of the windows down. You just want to be careful uh, not to get anything on that glass, making your job uh, even harder when you go to clean the glass. When using the 303 Aerospace Protectant, or really any vinyl shine for that matter, I typically will spray the product onto the towel. Typically I will not spray it on the panel unless it's like a tight area uh, and I know I can still access it. But typically spray it on the towel and then level it onto the surface. Uh, and then once you do start doing majority of the truck, a little goes a long way. You don't have to spray quite as much onto the towel because your towel's already pretty saturated. We don't get a whole lot of trucks in here that are this clean, uh, so this is a nice special occasion where all we got to do is dust everything off. I did happen to get out the Detail King Citrus All-Purpose Cleaner to, steer to clean off the steering wheel. Typically I'll just spray it on the rag and then wipe the wheel down. Make sure not to get any kind of vinyl shine or 303 onto the steering wheel uh, and also on the pedals. You don't want anything uh, where it could be a safety hazard for you or your customer. Then with the pedals here, I just hit them with the same citrus cleaner. Uh, putting a rag under the pedals, that really helps keep the carpet clean because you will get a lot of dirt and stuff. 
uh, once you spray these things down and start scrubbing with a brush a lot of dirt will go down as you can see here dripping onto the towel with a couple little black dots uh, you don't want to get all that onto a nice clean carpet and just scrub scrub away you could use a tornador as well for this job the tornador works really well uh, but we weren't getting out any air tools for this it didn't really need too much love uh, just a couple little things here and there and then we also make sure to clean the door sill that is always a really dirty area on these trucks guys stepping in and out uh, I will say with any of these details uh, the 303 will kind of cover up the dirt temporarily uh, but we, we're not really trying to hide the dirt we do want to still clean everything that is dirty uh, and then we'll put 303 on top of this once it's actually clean and then throw out that vinyl shine towel because you don't want that thing mixing with your other towels in the wash once the whole interior has been wiped down uh, with the vinyl shine, I'll typically go back through and wipe off the radio. Uh, here I'm just us actually using Optimum No Rinse, uh, the ONR. Uh, since the vinyl shine and stuff won't typically stick to these radio plastics, uh, it has nothing to absorb into it. will stay kind of streaky on them products, uh, so I'll typically hit them with like a quick detailer or Optimum No Rinse. You can't go wrong there. And get off any vinyl shine that might have got on there. And just dust everything off with that and wipe down any bezels door handles make sure there's no streaks uh, any kind of little chrome emblem uh, and then also the instrument cluster I like to use a nice soft towel optimum no rinse or you can even use a glass cleaner I just like the lubrication aspects of the ONR uh, to help prevent any kind of scratching or dragging of the towel once the interior of the truck's all clean, I'll just go through and give it a quick final vacuum to remove anything that might have fell on the floor uh, while we were dusting everything off. Uh, then I'll vacuum the floor mats. Sometimes I'll do this first, sometimes I'll do it last. But as you can see, he keeps his <laughs> mats pretty nice. It still has the plastics on some of the mats. Uh, and then I forgot to clean some of the bezels. Sometimes I do this first, sometimes I do it last. Uh, but they still need clean. We're just hitting them with a little all-purpose cleaner uh, to get them clean. And then I'll just wash them out in the sink and then hit them with the 303 aerospace protectant after they're all clean. Uh, and then toss them back in the truck. With these newer trucks, there seems to be a lot of little accessories and parts that you need to clean. Uh, we're also just going to wipe down the jack tools, get any dust or dog hair, whatever's on here off, uh, before we throw it back in the vehicle. For the mats, I'm, I usually don't clean them on the wall, but these were actually pretty clean already. Uh, it's easier on the back if I can just hang them up and clean them with a little stoner all-purpose cleaner. Scrub them with the Tough Shine brush, uh, and then I'll just go through and pressure wash them and let them hang dry. Uh, and that's pretty much all for the mats. These are pretty, pretty new mats, and they <laughs> didn't even really need cleaned. I could have probably just pressure washed them, uh, and it would have been more than good enough. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos on the detail of this truck. Uh, we will be doing a full exterior detail and ceramic coating video. Uh, so if you're interested, please hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you guys later.